<laughs> you and after. And <laughs> Thank you. Um, but my question, sorry, that was long. <laughs> my question was, I just finished filming a horror movie myself, and for me, it was a little bit difficult to stay in character, especially as you guys are talking about like the camaraderie and like laughing as the takes are going. So how did you guys stay in the mindset of like, okay, this is a horror movie, I think that's more for because you play like the killer for me it was just like i was just a bit i mean i was just the bitch most of the time so i'm like i'll just channel that um but i think it, i feel like for you is more difficult because you had like two sides so um yeah i don't know how you that was kind of <laughs> congrats by the way Thank you. that's really great um I, I I feel like set once you're there, it's just like a, a mindset, um, but particularly the turn for Bethany, that that was different for me. Um, I was kind of just wandering uh, between all those bookshelves listening to witchy trap music, honestly. <laughs> M music is my answer to any of that, and uh, just like man, I, I love what he did, but I, it was just a lot of music until I knew we were about to roll. Honestly, <laughs> Thank you. I, the Clovefish Killer was why I really wanted to work with Madison. Yes. By the way, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I'd seen like The Master and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, but like, you can't really evaluate someone's performance in those movies because they might have just had a really long time to shoot those scenes. But Clovefish Killer looked like they had about as much time as Seance, and and you're like phenomenally, you're doing phenomenally nuanced work in that film. So I was, I was, I love that movie too. Uh, so thank you, great question.